Here we see the uh, levels box for the picture of the truck, and I'm looking at the value channel. There are three channels, but we're going to talk about this one first, and we're gonna specifically going to talk about these three sliders and their respective values. So the first slider to look at is the gray slider, which is the gamma slider, which is controls well it controls this gradient right here, and it controls the overall darkness or lightness of the um, image. So it's it's actually you can if you slide it to the left, you'll see what happens is it's compressing the gradient into the dark area and making the whole image lighter by making the gradient be darker for less for a smaller portion of it. So less of the pixels overall in this region are in the dark section, so more of them have a light tone. Likewise, if we go the other way, it's going to pull the dark out so that more of these pixels, that's this default value, more of these pixels here will be dark, and an overall more of the pixels will be over a dark tone. So you can adjust the brightness of the picture with this slider um, by controlling the relative value between as a ratio between the dark pixels and the light pixels. So I'm going to set that back to 1. And then the next slider to look at is the right slide here, the white slider. So this controls the highlights of the picture. And right now the highlights are set out to be at a maximum of 255, which means that there can be pure white. So but most of the pictures are down here. Most of the image is down here. So if you slide the pixel, you're going to have more you can see this upper gradient here is, is shifting to the right, so you can see that more of the range for what is truly the range between black and white will be within the picture. Because right now, the whole range extends here, so most of the picture is in the dark region. But if you slide this over, you can lighten the picture while maintaining the relative difference between dark and light, which is that. And the dark one does kind of the opposite. So now I'm pushing more of the pixels into the dark region because all these pixels on the left of here will get compressed to the right because they have to. They have to still be in the pixel picture somehow. So I'm just forcing the image to be in the black. Now I've made the whole image black, which is not very productive. So I'm going to bring this back. And a good good place to start is somewhere in here where you're within these three stops and you still haven't started to cut off your active pixel region and create blown out pixels. So, And you can see if you zoom in a little more detail here to this logo, if I slide this back to the default, you can see the logo almost legibly, not quite. Um, but what will happen is I lighten the picture is those details will start to pop as more and more of the picture is in the white, purely white region, and and parts of it will become blown out or overexposed.